So in a week's time, we had two shows debut on streaming services that kind of divided a lot of fans on how they felt about them. That being Master Universe Revelation uh, on Netflix on the 23rd, and then yesterday on the 20 on the on the 30th, I should say, 29th and 30th on HBO Max with Jellystone. And I can tell you honestly, just by looking at some of the reactions to both, that <laughs> believe it or not. You know, the same crowd that grew up with Masters of the Universe, He-Man and Masters of the Universe, also grew up with these Hanna Barbera characters. And between the two shows, they probably choose Jellystone over Revelation. And the reason I say that, and this is just my opinion, my opinion from my point of view, the reason I think they would choose Jellystone over Revelation is because at least with Jellystone, they promoted it as being new and fresh and they basically showed you what the characters were going to be like. You know, they showed you that they were going to gender bend some characters. They weren't hiding that. They showed they showed you that some of the characters were going to have, you know, uh, I, I guess you could say, updates to their personality, um, if you will. You know, they weren't basically they weren't hiding anything. They weren't trying to, you know, um, I, I guess you could say what, what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, they weren't trying to. Uh, diverge expectations if you were they weren't trying to n not diverge but divert expectations and try to say it's one thing and then it turns out to be something else like you know Kevin Smith and Netflix and Ted Pacelli did with Revelation because you know basically the people behind Jellystone were saying this is what you're gonna get you know and that's it they were straightforward with it they weren't denying what it you know, they weren't denying anything. They weren't saying, oh, this is not true. Ooh, and then all of a sudden it turned out to be true. You know, they were straightforward with it. And when you compare that to Revelation and choosing between the two, you know, Revelation was promoted as being a spiritual direct sequel continuation of the Filmation series. And it turned out to be anything but. And you have everything in there that people like Smith and Baselli and some people at Netflix tried to deny wasn't going to be in there, and it turned out to be that it is. So when you compare the two, I think you know if, they, if given a choice to watch something, you know if nothing else is on, you know whether it's regular television or streaming, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would choose Jellystone. You know they would choose Jellystone. They would choose it for the fact that it's ten episodes. That is true, and that's what a lot of people feel that. You know, Netflix should have just done. They should have just, you know, dumped all ten episodes, you know, all, all at once if they knew they were going to get this kind of reaction. But yeah, it's all ten episodes. You don't have to watch them, you know, in continuity order. You can watch them any which way you want. And it's everything they say it was going to be, and a little bit more. And yes, as I said in my first impressions of it, it will get a little bit of a chuckle out of you, you know, here and there, especially with some of the stories that they tell. Um, but overall, um, just from my my just in my from my opinion and point of view, I think fans would rather choose Jellystone over Revelation when it comes to two new shows uh, focusing and bringing back iconic characters from our childhoods of the '80s, early '90s, you know, late '70s and stuff like that. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. How do you feel about this? Comment down below. Uh, do you think I have a point here? Who would you choose or which show would you choose over the other? And that's about it. So let me know what your thoughts are, guys, and I will talk to you all later. And like the video. Peace.